this is the state and today I have a new video lessons for you uh, based on PHP so in this part I will teach you uh, contact us form and contact us form data will be stored inside a database and after successfully inserted inside a database we will uh, show the success message to the user your data successfully and your request successfully submitted and we will get back to you soon so such a contact us form we will build uh, in this part, in this part, uh, for understanding all the things we have to write a code, uh, I mean uh, we have to uh, see a code, uh, uh, how contact us from data work and how we can store the data inside a database. So let's go to a computer screen and understand contact us from data. So here is a contact us form. So let's see a quick demo. Type your name, email, and message. Whatever your request message your request and when you click on submit it says thank you we have registered your request and we will get back to you soon whatever message you can write it here and when you see inside a database uh, this data uh, has been stored inside our database you can see message your request or stored email mess email name or uh, all the data uh, fields, uh, name, email, and uh, whatever message uh, it's stored inside database. So let's create a project and uh, write a code and understand all the things. I'm creating new PHP application um, form contact as any name you can give so this is the dummy uh, html code uh, netbin automatically gives me if you install and uh, work on it work with netbin it will also help you uh, for a lot more things so here i will uh, create a quick uh, html form like this so let's form form should be close it's a method is post and action is nothing and after that input type input type um, text and its name is for name and its place placeholder uh, is your name yeah. and let's be your text for line break and copy for email this is for input type email sorry email its name is email and placeholder is email and uh, for text area text area text area should be closed its name is msc and placeholder is type your request and also one br tag and last uh, uh, form input is uh, input type submit button submit value is submit uh, submit request whatever so let's run this I'm running this so you can see name email message and submit but now when you click it's nothing happened so for that we have to write a PHP code PHP uh, first we have to uh, create database so inside here I'm sorry I'm creating a new database and database name is my dummy and dummy db mm, any name you can give and inside I'm creating a new table oh, okay my dummy db and inside I'm creating a new table which is a data and uh, id name uh, email and uh, message three to four field 
ID is uh, auto increment. ID is auto increment. Uh, its uh, name's length is 150, 150, and message is text. It's a data type. It's a watcher, and it's a, again watcher, and then save it. So we have a database. My dummy DB. So let's copy this one. Uh, so let's first uh, create a MySQL connection. So put it try and catch block. And inside a uh, DB equals to new MySQL I, and it takes uh, some parameters. Host is local host. Local host user is root. Password is nothing and database socket database is removed and first uh, DB name is this one right so let's format it so we have connected to our database let's run uh, it's going error or not mm, okay let's okay connection is perfect so we have to put it if and as condition if is set dollar underscore post and post is the name which is this name all the fields name name its name is email its name is mhg so let's just put it here so copy one two three times and and so this is for email and this is for msg msg which is uh, this one msg so let's copy this one copy dollar name is equals to name dollar email is equals to email and dollar msg equals to this msg so all the three fields uh, we have stored inside a uh, inside a variable. So this db colon call the method which is query, and inside we will write a query. So let's go to a PHP my admin which is here. Data SQL. Click on insert and let's remove. Let's remove ID from here and all the values like this. So we have one, we have a one, two, and three fields. One, one, two, three. So let's copy this query. Control C for copy and insert double quotation trace that query uh, here. So we have first we have a name, email, and message. So let's control C, control V copy paste control v control c and control v sorry control v so put this query inside uh, any table is done or is insert is equals to so if is dollar is Insert equals to equals to two. Uh, we echo. Hmm. We echo inside uh, H two tag. H two. Thanks. Your request sub submitted. Something like. And exit and con control S for save and let's test this refresh or oh, unexpected line number only or oh, I just forgot a semicolon control S and refresh. Thank you, your request submitted and let's check sorry copy and test it again name email and my request and submit 
thank you your request submitted and let's check the data uh, it has or not so you can see my request this is email and whatever your message inside it here so this code will be available uh, uh, inside of uh, in my you can download uh, i will give you a link in the video description and uh, let me know what you think about this so thanks for watching bye take care